بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah most gracious most merciful الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا Praise be to Allah who had sent to his servant the book and had allowed therein no crookedness قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا He hath made it straight and clear in order that he may warn of a terrible punishment from him and that he may give glad tidings to the believers who work righteous deeds that they shall have a goodly reward wherein they shall remain forever further that he may warn those who say Allah hath begotten a son. No knowledge have they of such a thing, nor had their fathers. It is a grievous thing that issues from their mouths as a saying. What they say is nothing but falsehood. Thou wouldst only, perchance, fret thyself to death. following after them in grief if they believe not in this message inna ja'alna ma 'ala al-ard zinatan laha linabluwahum ayyuhum ahsanu 'amala that which is on earth we have made but as a glittering show for it in order that we may test them as to which of them are best in conduct. Verily what is on earth we shall make but as dust and dry soil. أَمْ حَسِبْتَ أَنَّ أَصْحَابَ الْكَهْفِ وَالرَّقِيمِ كَانُوا مِنْ آيَاتِنَا عَجَبًا Or dost thou think that the companions of the cave and of the inscription were wonders among our sign? إِذْ أَوَى الْفِتْيَةُ إِلَى الْكَهْفِ فَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا Behold, the youths betook themselves to the cave. They said, Our Lord, bestow on us mercy from thyself, and dispose of our affair for us in the right way. فَضَرَبْنَا عَلَىٰ آذَانِهِمْ فِي الْكَهْفِ سِنِينَ عَدَدًا Then we drew a veil over their ears for a number of years in the cave, so that they heard not. ثُمَّ بَعَثْنَاهُمْ لِنَعْلَمَ أَيُّ الْحِزْبَيْنِ أَحْصَى لِمَا لَبِسُوا أَمَدًا Then we roused them in order to test which of the two parties was best at calculating the term of years they had tarried. We 
إنهم فتية آمنوا بربهم وزدناهم هدى. We relate to thee their story in truth. They were youths who believed in their Lord, and we increase them in guidance. وَرَبَطْنَا عَلَى قُلُوبِهِمْ إِذْ قَامُوا فَقَالُوا رَبُّنَا رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ لَنْ نَدْعُوَ مِنْ دُونِهِ إِلَهَا لَقَدْ قُلْنَا إِذَا شَطَطًا We gave strength to their hearts. Behold, they stood up and said, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and of the earth. Never shall we call upon any God other than Him. If we did, we should indeed have uttered an enormity. <laughs> لولا يأتون عليهم بسلطان بين فمن أولم ممن افترى على الله كذبا. These our people have taken for worship gods other than Him. Why do they not bring forward an authority clear and convincing for what they do? Who doth more wrong than such as invent a falsehood against Allah? وإذ اعتزلتموهم وما يعبدون إلا الله فأو إلى الكهف ينشو لكم ربكم من رحمته ويهيئ لكم من أمركم مرفقا When ye turn away from them and the things they worship other than Allah, betake yourselves to the cave. Your Lord will shower His mercies on you and dispose of your affair towards comfort and ease. وَتَرَى الشَّمْسَ إِذَا طَلَعَتْ تَزَاوَرُ عَنْ كَهْفِهِمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينِ وَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ تَقْرِضُهُمْ ذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ وَهُمْ فِي فَجْوَةٍ مِّنْهُ ذَلِكَ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ مَنْ يَهْدِ اللَّهُ فَهُوَ الْمُهْتَدِ وَمَنْ يُضْلِلْ فَلَنْ تَجِدَ لَهُ وَلِيًّا مُرْشِدًا Thou wouldst have seen the sun when it rose, declining to the right from their cave, and when it set, turning away from them to the left, while they lay in the open space in the midst of the cave. Such are among the signs of Allah. He whom Allah guides is rightly guided, but he whom Allah leaves to stray, for him wilt thou find no protector to lead him to the right way. وَتَحْسَبُهُمْ وَهُمْ رُقُودٌ وَنُقَلِّبُهُمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينِ وَذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ وَكَلْبُهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَاعِهِ بِالْوَصِيدِ لَوْ اطَّلَعْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ لَوَلَّيْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِرَارًا وَلَمُلِئْتَ مِنْهُمْ رُعْبًا Thou wouldst have thought them away whilst they were asleep. And we turn them on their right and on their left side. Their dog stretching forth his two forelegs on the threshold. If thou hadst looked at them, thou wouldst have certainly turned back from them in flight, and wouldst certainly have been filled with terror of them. وَكَذَلِكَ بَعَثْنَاهُمْ لِيَتَسَاءَلُوا بَيْنَهُمْ قَالَ قَالَ 
Such being their state, we raise them up from sleep, that they might question each other. Said one of them, How long have ye stayed here? They said, We have stayed perhaps a day or part of a day. They all said, Allah alone knows best how long we have stayed here. Now send ye then one of you with this money of yours to the town. Let him find out which is the best food to be had and bring some to you. And let him behave with care and courtesy. And let him not inform anyone about you. إنهم إن يظهروا عليكم يرجموكم أو يعيدوكم في ملتهم ولن تفلحوا إذا أبدا. For if they should come upon you, they would stone you or force you to return to their religion. And in that case, ye would never attain prosperity. وَكَذَلِكَ أَعْثَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ لِيَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌّ وَأَنَّ السَّاعَةَ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهَا إِذْ يَتَنَازَعُونَ بَيْنَهُمْ أَمْرَهُمْ فَقَالُوا بْنُوا عَلَيْهِمْ بُنْيَانًا رَبُّهُمْ أَعْلَمُ بِهِمْ قَالَ الَّذِينَ غَلَبُوا عَلَىٰ أَمْرِهِمْ لَنَتَّخِذَنَّ عَلَيْهِمْ مَسْجِدًا Thus did we make their case known to the people, that they might know that the promise of Allah is true, and that there can be no doubt about the hour of judgment. Behold, they dispute among themselves as to their affair. Some said, Construct a building over them. Their Lord knows best about them. Those who prevailed over their affair said, Let us surely build a place of worship over them. سيقولون ثلاثة رابعهم كلبهم ويقولون خمسة سادسهم كلبهم رجما بالغيب ويقولون سبعة وثامنهم كلبهم قل ربي أعلم بعدتهم ما يعلمهم إلا قليل فَلَا تُمَارِ فِيهِمْ إِلَّا مِرَاءً ظَاهِرًا وَلَا تَسْتَفْتِ فِيهِمْ مِنْهُمْ أَحَدًا Some say there were three, the dog being the fourth among them. Others say there were five, the dog being the sixth, doubtfully guessing at the unknown. Yet others say they were seven, the dog being the eight. Say thou, my Lord knoweth best their number. It is but few that know their real case. Enter not therefore into controversies concerning them, except on a matter that is clear, nor consult any of them about the affair of the sleepers, ولا تقولن لشيء إني فاعل ذلك غدا 
nor say of anything I shall be sure to do so and so tomorrow. Except if Allah so wills, and remember thy Lord when thou forgettest and say, I hope that my Lord will guide me ever closer than this to the right course. وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَهْفِهِمْ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةٍ سِنِينَ وَازْدَادُوا تِسْعًا So they stayed in their cave three hundred years and nine more. قُلِ اللَّهُ أَعْلَمُ بِمَا لَبِثُوا لَهُ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَبْصِرْ بِهِ وَأَسْمِعْ مَا لَهُمْ مِنْ Say, Allah knows best how long they stayed. With Him is the knowledge of the secrets of the heavens and the earth. How clearly He sees, how finely He hears everything. They have no protector other than Him. Nor does he share his command with any person whatsoever. And recite and teach what has been revealed to thee of the book of thy Lord. None can change his words. And none wilt thou find as a refuge other than him. وَلَا تُطِعْ مَنْ أَوْفَلْنَا قَلْبَهُ عَنْ ذِكْرِنَا وَاتَّبَعَهَا وَهُوَ كَانَ أَمْرُهُ فُرُطًا And keep yourself content with those who call on their Lord morning and evening, seeking His face, and let not thine eyes pass beyond them. seeking the pomp and glitter of this life, nor obey any whose heart we have permitted to neglect the remembrance of us, one who follows his own desires, and his affair has become all excess. <laughs> Say the truth is from your Lord. Let him who will believe, and let him who will reject it. For the wrongdoers we have prepared a fire whose smoke and flames like the walls and roof of a tent will hem them in. If they implore relief, they will be granted water like melted brass that will scald their faces. How dreadful the drink! How uncomfortable a couch to recline on! 
As to those who believe and work righteousness, verily we shall not suffer to perish the reward of any who do a single righteous deed. for them will be gardens of eternity beneath them rivers will flow they will be adorned therein with bracelets of gold and they will wear green garments of fine silk and heavy brocade they will recline therein on raised thrones how good the recompense how beautiful a couch to recline on <laughs> Set forth to them the parable of two men. For one of them we provided two gardens of grape vines and surrounded them with date palms. In between the two we placed tillage. Each of those gardens brought forth its produce and failed not in the least therein. In the midst of them we caused a river to flow. وَكَانَ لَهُ سَمَرٌ فَقَالَ لِصَاحِبِهِ وَهُوَ يُحَاوِرُهُ أَنَا أَكْثَرُ مِنْكَ مَالًا وَأَعَزُّ نَفَرًا Abundant was the produce this man had. He said to his companion in the course of a mutual argument, More wealth have I than you. and more honor and power in my following of men. He went into his garden while he wronged himself. He said, I deem not that this will ever perish. وَمَا أَظُنُّ السَّاعَةَ قَائِمَةً وَلَئِن رُدِدْتُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي لَأَجِدَنَّ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا مُنْقَلَبًا Nor do I deem that the hour of judgment will ever come. Even if I am brought back to my Lord, I shall surely find there something better in exchange. His companion said to him in the course of the argument with him, Dost thou deny him who created thee out of dust, then out of a sperm drop, then fashion thee into a man? But as for my part, Allah is my Lord, 
and none shall I associate with my Lord. Why didst thou not, as thou wentest into thy garden, say, Allah's will be done. There is no power but from Allah. If thou dost see me less than thee in wealth and sons, it may be that my Lord will give me something better than thy garden, and that he will send on thy garden thunderbolts from heaven, making it but slippery sand. Or the water of the garden will run off underground so that thou wilt never be able to find it. So his fruits were encompassed with ruin, and he remained twisting and turning his hands over what he had spent on his property which had now tumbled to pieces to its very foundations. And he could only say, Woe is me! Would I had never ascribed partners to my Lord and Cherisher? وَلَمْ تَكُنْ لَهُ فِئَةٌ يَنْصُرُونَهُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ وَمَا كَانَ مُنْتَصِرًا Nor had he numbers to help him against Allah, nor was he able to deliver himself. هُنَالِكَ الْوَلَايَةُ لِلَّهِ الْحَقِّ there the only protection comes from Allah, the true one. He is the best to reward and the best to give success. Set forth to them the similitude of the life of this world. It is like the rain which we send down from the skies. The earth's vegetation absorbs it, but soon it becomes dry stubble, which the winds do scatter, and it is only Allah who prevails over all things. Wealth and sons are allurements of the life of this world. But the things that endure, good deeds, are best in the sight of thy Lord, as rewards and best as the foundation for hopes. 
ويوم نسير الجبال وترى الأرض بارزة وحشرناهم فلم نغادر منهم أحدا On the day we shall remove the mountains and thou wilt see the earth as a level stretch and we shall gather them all together nor shall we leave out any one of them. And they will be marshaled before thy Lord in ranks. Now have ye come to us bare as we created you first. I ye thought we shall not fulfill the appointment made to you to meet us. ووضع الكتاب فترى المجرمين مشفقين مما فيه ويقولون يا ويلتنا ما لهذا الكتاب لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها ووجدوا ما عملوا حاضرا and the book of deeds will be placed before you and thou wilt see the sinful in great terror because of what is recorded therein they will say ah woe to us what a book is this it leaves out nothing small or great but takes account thereof. They will find all that they did placed before them, and not one will thy Lord treat with injustice. <laughs> Behold, we said to the angels, Prostrate to Adam, they prostrated except Iblis. He was one of the jinns, and he broke the command of his Lord. Will ye then take him and his progeny as protectors rather than me? And they are enemies to you. Evil would be the exchange for the wrongdoers. ما أشهدتهم خلق السماوات والأرض ولا خلق أنفسهم وما كنت متخذ المضلين عضدا. I call them not to witness the creation of the heavens and the earth, not even their own creation, nor is it for me to take as helpers such as lead men astray. On the day he will say, Call on those whom ye thought to be my partners, and they will call on them, but they will not listen to them, and we shall make for them a place of common perdition. And the sinful shall see the fire and apprehend that they have to fall therein. 
no means will they find to turn away therefrom. We have explained in detail in this Quran for the benefit of mankind every kind of similitude. But man is in most things contentious. And what is there to keep back men from believing? Now that guidance has come to them, nor from praying for forgiveness from their Lord, but that they wait for the ways of the ancients to overtake them, or the wrath be brought to them face to face. وَمَا نُرْسِلُ الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِلَّا مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْذِرِينَ وَيُجَادِلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِالْبَاطِلِ لِيُدْحِضُوا بِهِ الْحَقِّ وَاتَّخَذُوا آيَاتِي وَمَا أُنْذِرُوا هُزُوًا we only send the messengers to give glad tidings and to give warnings. But the unbelievers dispute with vain argument in order therewith to weaken the truth, and they treat my signs and warnings as a jest. <laughs> And who doth more wrong than one who is reminded of the signs of his Lord, but turns away from them, forgetting the deeds which his hands have sent forth? Verily we have set veils over their hearts, so that they understand this not, and over their ears deafness. If thou callest them to guidance, even then will they never accept guidance. <laughs> But your Lord is most forgiving, full of mercy. If he were to call them at once to account for what they have earned, then surely he would have hastened their punishment. But they have their appointed time, beyond which they will find no refuge. Such were the towns we destroyed when they committed inequities, but we fixed an appointed time for their destruction. وَإِنْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِفَتَاهُ لَا أَبْرَحُ حَتَّى أَبْلُغَ مَجْمَعَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ أَوْ أَمْضِيَ حُقُبًا Behold, Moses said to his attendant, I will not give up until I reach the junction of the two seas, or until I spend years and years in travel. فَلَمْ 
مجمع بينهما نسيا حوتهما فاتخذ سبيله في البحر سربا But when they reached the junction, they forgot about their fish, which took its course through the sea straight as in a tunnel. When they had passed on some distance, Moses said to his attendant, Bring us our early meal. Truly we have suffered much fatigue at this stage of our journey. He replied, Sawest thou what happened when we betook ourselves to the rock? I did indeed forget about the fish. None but Satan made me forget to tell you about it. It took its course through the sea in a marvelous way. قال ذلك ما كنا نبغي فارتدا على اثارهما قصصا Moses said that was what we were seeking after so they went back on their footsteps following the path they had come فوجد عبدا من عبادنا So they found one of our servants on whom we had bestowed mercy from ourselves and whom we had taught knowledge from our own presence. قال له موسى هل اتبعك على ان تعلمني مما علمت رشدا Moses said to him May I follow thee on the footing that thou teach me something of the higher truth which thou hast been taught قال انك لن تستطيع معي صبرا The other said, Verily thou wilt not be able to have patience with me. For how canst thou have patience about things which are beyond your knowledge? Moses said, Thou wilt find me, if Allah so will, truly patient, nor shall I disobey thee in aught. The other said, If then thou wouldst follow me, ask me no questions about anything until I myself speak to thee concerning it. So they both proceeded. Until when they were in the boat, he scuttered it. Said Moses, Hast thou scuttered it in order to drown those in it? Truly a strange thing hast thou done. <laughs> He answered, Did I not tell thee that thou canst have no patience with me? 
قال لا تآخذني بما نسيت ولا ترهقني من أمري عسرا Moses said Rebuke me not for forgetting nor grieve me by raising difficulties in my case فانطلقا حتى إذا لقيا غلاما فقتله قال أقتلت نفسا زكية بغير نفس لقد جئت شيئا نكرا Then they proceeded until when they met a young boy, he slew him. Moses said, Has thou slain an innocent person who had slain none? Truly a foul, unheard of thing hast thou done. <laughs> He answered, Did I not tell thee that thou canst have no patience with me? Moses said, If ever I ask thee about anything after this, keep me not in thy company. Then wouldst thou have received full excuse from my side. فانطلقا حتى إذا أتيا أهل قرية استطعما أهلها فأبوا أن يضيفوهما فوجدا فيها جدارا يريد أن ينقض فأقامه then they proceeded until when they came to the inhabitants of a town. They asked them for food, but they refused them hospitality. They found there a wall on the point of falling down, but he set it up straight. Moses said, if thou hadst wished, surely thou couldst have extracted some recompense for it. He answered, This is the parting between me and thee. Now will I tell thee the interpretation of those things over which thou wast unable to hold patience. As for the boat, it belonged to certain men in dire want. They plied on the water. I but wished to render it unserviceable. For there was after them a certain king who seized on every boat by force. <laughs> As for the youth, his parents were people of faith, and we feared that he would grieve them by obstinate rebellion and ingratitude to Allah. So we desired that their Lord would give them in exchange a son better in purity of conduct and closer in affection. <laughs> 
الجدار فكان لغلامين يتيمين في المدينة وكان تحته كنز لهما وكان أبوهما صالحا وكان أبوهما صالحا فأراد ربك أن يبلغا أشدهما ويستخرجا كنزهما رحمة من ربك وما فعلته عن أمري ذلك تأويل ما لم تستع عليه صبرا As for the wall, it belonged to two youths, orphans in the town. There was beneath it a buried treasure to which they were entitled. Their father had been a righteous man. So thy Lord desired that they should attain their age of full strength and get out their treasure, a mercy and favor from thy Lord. I did it not for my own accord. Such is the interpretation of those things over which thou wast unable to hold patience. وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنْ ذِي الْقَوْمَيْنِ قُلْ سَأَتْلُوا عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْهُ ذِكْرًا They ask thee concerning Zulqarnayn. Say, I will rehearse to you something of his story. <laughs> Verily we established his power on earth, and we gave him the ways and the means to all ends. <laughs> One such way he followed. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it in a spring of murky water. Near it he found a people. We said, O Zulqarnain, thou hast authority either to punish them or to treat them with kindness. فَسَوْفَ نُعَذِّبُهُ ثُمَّ يُرَدُّ إِلَى رَبِّهِ فَيُعَذِّبُهُ عَذَابًا نُكْرًا He said, Whoever doth wrong, him shall we punish. Then shall he be sent back to his Lord, and he will punish him with a punishment unheard of. وَأَمَّا مَنْ آمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلَهُ جَزَاءً الْحُسْنَى وَسَنَقُولُ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِنَا يُسْرًا But whoever believes and works righteousness, he shall have a goodly reward. And easy will be his task as we order it by our command. ثُمَّ أَتْبَعَ سَبَبًا Then followed he another way. حَتَّى إِذَا بَلَغَ مَطْلِعَ الشَّمْسِ وَجَدَهَا تَطْلُعُ عَلَى قَوْمٍ لَمْ نَجْعَلْ لَهُمْ مِنْ دُونِهَا سِتْرًا Until when he came to the rising of the sun, He found it rising on a people for whom we had provided no covering protection against the sun. He left them as they were. We completely understood what was before him. 
Then followed he another way. Until when he reached a track between two mountains, he found beneath them a people who scarcely understood a word. They said, O Zulqarnain, the Gog and Magog do great mischief on earth. Shall we then render thee tribute in order that thou mightest erect a barrier between us and them? He said, The power in which my Lord has established me is better than tribute. Help me therefore with strength and labor. I will erect a strong barrier between you and them. Bring me blocks of iron. At length, when he had filled up the space between the two steep mountain sides, he said, Blow with your bellows. Then, when he had made it red as fire, he said, Bring me that I may pour over it molten lead. Thus were they made powerless to scale it or to dig through it. He said, This is a mercy from my Lord. But when the promise of my Lord comes to pass, He will make it into dust. And the promise of my Lord is true. On that day we shall leave them to surge like waves on one another. The trumpet will be blown and we shall collect them all together. And we shall present hell that day for unbelievers to see all spread out. Unbelievers whose eyes had been under a veil from remembrance of me and who had been unable even to hear. Did 
Do the unbelievers think that they can take my servants as protectors besides me? Verily we have prepared hell for the unbelievers for their entertainment. قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا Say, shall we tell you of those who lose most in respect of their deeds? Those whose efforts have been wasted in this life, while they thought that they were acquiring good by their work, they are those who deny the signs of their Lord and the fact of their having to meet Him. Vain will be their works. Nor shall we on the day of judgment give them any weight. That is their reward, hell, because they rejected faith and took my signs and my messengers by way of jest. As to those who believe and work righteous deeds, they have for their entertainment the gardens of paradise. Wherein they shall dwell for I. No change will they wish for from them. Say if the ocean were ink wherewith to write out the words of my Lord. Sooner would the ocean be exhausted than would the words of my Lord. Even if we added another ocean like it for its aid. <laughs> (laughs) 